Hey guys, Everett Dutch and 138 here. Uh, I just kind of want to do a showcase of some of the patches that uh, I've been making on the Prophet X. Um, some of the factory samples, uh, a lot of people don't seem to like them, but I think if you really dig into them and start to use some of those techniques like additive synthesis or LA synthesis from like things like the D50 or the M1, you can actually emulate some of those patches uh, pretty closely. Um, or just kind of create patches in that style of those synthesizers. And um, this uh, factory patch actually called the Future is based on the Korg M1's uh, Universe patch. It's not exactly like the uh, Universe patch, but I think it does have its own quality. Uh, I actually did a um, my own version of that uh, using more of a choir uh, type sample. <laughs> I'm not sure which one sounds better, but um, I do think they both sound pretty good. Uh, and well as uh, this one called the Magic Piano, which is uh, based on the Korg M1's uh, Magic Piano patch, which is just a uh, uh, grand piano, uh, just the initial attack of a grand piano, as well as a bell. As I've used that patch on a couple of my songs and um, I think it actually sounds pretty good. It, it, it's not, it definitely has like an 80s quality, early 90s quality to it, um, which is perfect for some of the stuff I do. Now uh, with the D50, the initial attack portion is um, usually always sampled. Uh, there were some uh, rhythmic or like looped samples as well uh, in the D50, but for the most part, the initial, at initial uh, attack portion of the patch was sampled and the rest of the body was synthesized. Um, so I started to emulate some of that uh, using some of the onboard factory uh, samples uh, from 8DO. The categories of ambience and cinematic, they really, there's so much variety in them and they really have a mysterious quality to them where you can't tell, um, can't really tell what they are uh, in in some regards, but when you start to blend them with the synthesized uh, elements, it it has its own quality. Now, this doesn't sound exactly like a sound like soundtrack. I do like I do have um, D50 uh, samples in here uh, uh, from in my user samples, but I just thought it'd be nice to try and create my own uh, version. So here's the Prophet X soundtrack. That's just using a cinematic, uh, one cinematic vocal sample that's stretched across the keyboard. As well as the high pass filter and the low pass filter working in tandem to create that sweeping band pass effect. And the one thing that really wasn't mentioned with the, when the Prophet X uh, came out was that you could have the samples bypass the filter. So you could have a completely filtered uh, synthesized sound underneath um, a, uh, a, sam a dry sample that's going through that that's not even being affected by the filter. So I do have this vocal sample being uh, bypassed or bypassing the filter, I should say. Uh, when I take that off, the filter cuts it right out. That actually sounds closer to the original patch, I think. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I do think it has its own quality to it. Uh, same with this, it's a D50 pad. Uh, this is a completely original patch. Uh, it wasn't really based on any one D50 patch, but it's, um, it definitely has its own, uh, it definitely has its own sound. Um, so there's a organic pulse sample um, in the initialized attack, as well as metallic wind chimes that are looping in a rhythmic fashion. 
um, uh, but the majority of the body is synthesized. Almost like a flute type effect. take out the uh, sample and just use the um, or sorry when I take out the oscillators and just use the sample this is all it is but when once it's together that uh, flute type effect is just uh, two square waves uh, with an LFO modulating the frequency And the, the samples are bypassing the low pass filter. You can also filter some of the uh, samples when they bypass low pass filter with a uh, tone uh, a parameter, which kind of gives more lows or more highs depending on uh, how you want the patch to sound. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, LA Oregon, and I don't mean LA, like Los Angeles, but uh, linear uh, arithmetic, uh, uh, which is linear arithmetic synthesis is what was used in the D50. So just the initialized attack is uh, this. That's it. It's just a short uh, organ blast, but uh, the rest of the body is all oscillators. flanger effect it, it kind of emulating a rotary speaker there is a rotary speaker effect on here um, I don't know how this would sound but uh. like the flanger better it has more of a synthetic effect um, and these are d50 strings um, this is just uh, uh, initialized attack is just the just a short uh, ensemble um, strike and uh, the rest of the body is synthesized but you can hear that uh, the strings are bypassing the low-pass filter but there's oscillators underneath that are being affected by the filter uh, and the uh, filter cutoff or the envelope is being affected by velocity but you can actually open the envelope uh, using one of the sliders as well It's not exactly like a D50 patch, but I mean, it has that type of quality to it. Um, another one I'm pretty proud of. Um, oh yeah, um, this is Fantasia. I, I do have a Fantasia sample in my user samples, but I just used a Glockenspiel, and um, that's the only sample I used for this. Uh, and the rest of the body is all synthesized, so. That's it. That's the only sample being used, and it's just the initialized attack. The rest of the body is... And it's, it's all oscillators. And velocity is affecting the uh, filter uh, envelope. Um, so... But I actually think it actually sounds really, really nice.
as a, it's not, like I said, it's not exactly like the original D50 patch, but I mean, you can certainly use that in a, in a track. <clears throat> and, oh, this is a factory patch from, um, with the Prophet X called Wave Station. And uh, it's just using the organic ambience uh, sample that's stretched across the, the keys. I did modify it. I actually used some of the Prophet VS waves, which are also factory samples in here. Uh, and I kind of uh, mixed them in there, but uh, it definitely does sound like a, a wave station. I mean, And you can use uh, one of the sliders to bring in and out the Prophet VS uh, samples. Now, with the Prophet VS samples, what I did, how they're, um, they are initially in the, uh, when you get the Prophet X, is every single key is a different uh, wavetable from the Prophet uh, VS, and you can sample stretch it to play that wavetable. Uh, I didn't sample stretch anything, so every single key is going to be a different uh, uh, wavetable. And what's great is when you kind of use the sliders to emulate that joystick of the uh, of the wave station. It kind of it definitely does have that vector synthesis quality. And with aftertouch, you're uh, um, affecting the frequency as well. That's actually using uh, the 16 voice mode, so you get a little bit more polyphony. Uh, I did the same thing with this. Uh, this is my own uh, version of that called Wave Station 2. Uh, and that's just using the, in the ambience category, uh, organic ambience and vocal ambience that are stretched across the uh, keyboard. And it's using an LFO to um, go in between them. It definitely sounds like a wave station, at least to me it does, um, especially because the wave station really was a pad machine. It really had all those really unique uh, sounding uh, things, and uh, I'm certainly interested in the uh, Korg wave state as well. Uh, I do wish they would make a full-size version, though. Apparently, they, they announced it um, a while ago as a wave station SE. It, I, it, I don't know what happened. I think it got scrapped, but um, any anyway, this is... Um, <laughs> Wave Station Wave Song 2. So this is uh, the mo one of the most famous patches of the Wave Station is the, the Wave Song. Uh, so I kind of tried to do an emulation of that uh, using this. And this is a, um, this is a uh, layered uh, patch. So there's uh, layer A and B. One is doing an arpeggiation and the other is just doing a pad. So this is uh, using the Prophet uh, VS Wave Tables as well as a uh, choir for the uh, uh, pad sound. And the uh, arpeggiation sound is, um, it's all sync. So it's all uh, done through a uh, rhythmic uh, arpeggiation of, uh, I think a random arpeggio. And then there's sample and hold manipulate, kind of switching between the different uh, wavetables as well as uh, filter cutoff as well. So it has this really rhythmic quality to it.
I love that patch. Um, very, very proud of it. I've used it on um, the Hoodoo ship as well as a couple others. Um, it's great when you sync it to a drum machine and it, it just, it, it's all beat synced and everything. It's, it, yeah, it, I really like that one. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so I mean, I, I also tried to emulate the Prophet X, um, or sorry, excuse me, the D50 uh, digital native dance. Uh, I have that uh, sample in here as well, but um, I want to try and use some of the onboard samples of the Prophet X and kind of emulate that as well. So um, this is Prophet X native dance, and this is a layered patch, and it sounds like this. <laughs> That's a crash effect, um, a Tyco uh, drum um, that's being uh, looped, as well as uh, ambient uh, vocals uh, stretched across the keyboard, as well as an organic blast. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of do a patch creation um, and kind of, I, I think this one needs work. So um, please join me in uh, trying to do a Prophet X uh, native dance patch.